Alright, so the reason you clicked on this video is because you want to learn about how stomping works. Not just how it's used in game, and what you can do to like, break walls, but actually how the mechanic works so you can develop your own routes or just understanding it for the future so you can use it whenever you need. Before we talk about specifics though, you need to understand how stomping works in the first place. There's a super common misconception that it's like a in-game mechanic that you can just- all you need is efficiency 10 on your pickaxe and then you can just walk through walls, right? Or like, you use a stonk. That's not how it works at all. What you're actually doing is going around the anti-cheat so it looks away for a little bit and you're able to walk through the blocks. To put it in a simpler way, Hypixel's anti-cheat is making small checks to see if you're in blocks or not. So if you're able to trick it, you're able to walk through blocks for a couple of seconds before it shuts you down. So there are two types of pickaxes you can use for this. You can either use a stonk, which you just buy from the end, or you can use a diamond pickaxe with efficiency 10 on it. Alright, now that I'm in a dungeon, it's going to be a lot easier for me to explain how this works. So, the difference between the two pickaxes is that the stonk only has a certain amount of blocks that it can break. Like, for example, it can't instantly break cobble, it can't instantly break stone slabs. But with the diamond pickaxe, you're able to break pretty much every mineable block instantly. To actually talk about specifics, here are a few ways to make what I'll be referring to as ghost blocks for the rest of this video. Ghost blocks are blocks that don't appear for you and your client, but the server still registers as being there. So whenever you try to walk into them, they'll just kind of float like this. These blocks are the ones that if you do it right, you're able to walk through. So for these examples, I will be using an efficiency 10 diamond pickaxe, but do know that you are able to use the stonk in a lot of situations that it just does have some limitations. So the first method, and what I would recommend the least, would be to just hold W on a wall and break with your pickaxe. This will create ghost blocks, but it takes a little bit of time, it's not consistent, and it can get- and it'll build up your watchdog meter. And what I mean by watchdog meter is, after you walk through a certain amount of blocks, you'll just- you won't be able to walk through anymore. That's the anti-cheat realizing that you're not supposed to be walking through these blocks, so it stops you. So for example, if I do this, if I keep going for a little bit, now I'm stuck and I can't go anywhere. And then you'll die, you'll suffocate in the wall. Now for the two main methods of stonking, and basically the ones that you'll be using 99% of the time, that's the swap stonk and the ghost block. So swap stonking is whenever you choose any item in your hotbar that isn't your pickaxe, and then swap to your pickaxe and break at the exact same time. Like this. You can see I'm punching right, like, I'm pretty much punching as soon as it happens. And ever, whenever you come up to a breakable block like this, if you do it, it'll make a ghost block, just like that. Now the other one is the ghost pickaxe. And it's called the ghost pickaxe because whenever you make it, it's just a pickaxe that creates ghost blocks. What you need to do is you need to know two keybinds. I still use 4 and 5 for this. And what I do is I hit 4 and 5 at the exact same time. And whenever you do, it'll make a ghost pickaxe in the slot where your pickaxe originally was. And then you're just able to make ghost blocks as much as you want. And this will reset whenever you right click. Both of these pickaxes are situational and you'll learn when to use which one. But as a good rule of thumb, the swap stonk should be used whenever the thing you're trying to get to is like one or two blocks long. So right here, I wouldn't, I mean normally you just blow this wall up. But just for the example, say there was a chest right behind here. You could just, you could just swap stonk really quick like this and then grab the chest, right? Now say the thing that you're trying to get is like three or four blocks away. You're going to want to make a ghost pickaxe because with a ghost pickaxe you can, you know. You don't have to swap every single time to make the block, so if it's like back there, then that's when you're going to want to make the ghost pickaxe, or you're trying to get like a big zone out. But just creating these ghost blocks isn't enough though. Well, you can use those for clicking chests and levers through the walls, we need to talk about actually entering them so you can start walking through walls. There are a few ways to do this, and the most simple one is just staircases. Anytime you see a staircase, if you just stand in the bottom half like I am right now, not on the upper half, but the bottom half, and you mine into it, that'll put you in a ghost block and then you can walk through more blocks. Now this next one only works if you have these ne- So these next few only work if you have ether warp on your AOTV. But if you see a fence like this, you're able to ether warp on it by clicking on it. It'll put you inside the fence, and then you can make ghost blocks like this and you're able to walk through them. So another block that you can use is also the skull. If you see a custom skull or minecrafted anywhere, you're able to ether warp to the block below it and you'll be inside of it. And then you can use that to walk through walls like this. And just to mention from earlier, you're also able to use stone fences in the same way that you would with regular fences. So you can just hit ether warp onto it and you'll be inside of it. The final thing you can use is actually ender pearls like this. Now this is more of an advanced thing, so I wouldn't recommend learning this until you're very comfortable with the other methods. But what you can do is if you create ghost blocks and then you pearl at the right angle into it while holding W, you'll go straight through. This is actually a pretty recent discovery, but it's very nice and super useful once you get the hang of it. But on top of that, if you have an infinity boom and a silverfish pet equipped, you can place the infinity boom and then right as it hits the top of your head, you're going to want to pearl at right about this angle and then mine forward, like this. And it'll put you in the block. If you'd like me to go more in depth, um, join my discord and I can answer any questions you have. 
The only reason I'm not putting that all of that in this video is because it would make it super long and super complicated whenever this video is more about the fundamentals rather than the extremes. We also are coming up on a thousand subscribers, so if this video helped you at all, then please do make sure to subscribe, it means a lot, a lot of time went into this video, and we will be pushing out more guides as soon as possible. Leave a comment if you have any more questions, if I didn't elaborate on anything enough, or you just need further explanation, I will be responding to everybody. So that's about it, see ya.